I hate to be the one who brings this debate up once again. However, I wanted to do a video on this issue because I still think it needs addressing. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm talking about bonus pins for women. My opinion right now is this. Women should not get bonus pins when competing against men. And I'll explain why. But first, let's quickly discuss the current rules when it comes to bonus pins. This doesn't apply to PBA events, but for example, the European Bowling Tour gives a bonus of eight pins per game to women. And it's not just a European tour. For example, tournaments in the UK also award women a bonus of eight pins. For those of you who might not know too much about the European Bowling Tour, they are mixed events and there is not currently a women's tour. So if you're a woman and you want to play a European tournament, you have to compete against men. So let's move on to the reason why I think women should not get bonus pins because I do think there's a big problem with having this bonus pin system. And it's not because I think, oh, it's unfair or that it gives women this huge advantage. Quite simply, it's the fact that, in my opinion, women don't need any bonus pins. Women can and do compete with men. Again, using the European bowling tour as an example, there are countless examples of excellent female bowlers who can consistently compete with men and i think bowling is definitely one of those sports where everyone is on a quite an equal footing because although you could make the argument that men typically generate more power than women power isn't everything in this game being consistently accurate is equally as important and perhaps even more so and even if you argue that power is preferable well it's not like women can't generate power and as a side note it's quite surprising that there aren't more female two-handers in the game and i definitely think we're starting to see more and more coming through at a junior level very soon now this leads on to my next reason and that is by having bonus pins to me it just seems to suggest that women cannot beat men without a little extra help but this is simply not the case so i just don't like the fact the bonus system exists for this reason it doesn't help with the progression of the sport either because it just feels like a bit of an outdated rule given the times we live in the other question i have is why eight pins who decided that this should be the number and is there any evidence that suggests that women on average are eight pins lower than men now i believe that in the past uh, there were different numbers that were used i think it used to be maybe five pins and then they tried more i think it might have even, even been as high as about 12 per game uh, but then eventually it was settled at eight pins per game and that seems to be the kind of the standard really eight pins um, throughout europe and the uk but i'm just not really sure why eight pins why that's the number if there's a reason behind it um, but you've got to remember this is rule has been in place for a long while so things change the game changes so you could certainly make an argument and say well why eight pins is it is there really an eight pin difference between men and women is it less is it more so i think that's kind of an interesting debate as well and another really uh, crucial point is the fact that when i talked about being a, an equal playing field um what you've got to remember is that different patterns suit different bowlers so often at these tournaments you get certain types of patterns that really do suit the games of a lot of female bowlers so you could make the argument as well that it's almost like a bit of a double bonus because you have the bonus pins and then you have the certain lane patterns that suit the games of many female bowlers so i think that it's complete nonsense to suggest that women cannot compete with men and you've only got to look at the european tour as an example to see that women are regularly making cuts and are able to compete in these tournaments so this brings us on to the question why are organizations like the european Tempin bowling federation still using bonus pins for women well my guess is that it's all to do with entry numbers i feel like they would be very reluctant to remove the bonus pin system or make changes to it simply because they would be concerned about the fact it would deter women from entering events if you take away the eight pins perhaps there would be some female bowlers who feel that they now don't have much of a chance in these events but my answer to this would be that if that is the case it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the fact that a person is female because if they're lower uh, at a lower average than what they need to compete then they simply have to keep working and improving their game 
If there is indeed a big disparity between the genders, and as mentioned, I don't believe this to be the case, then this should be a strong motivation for female bowlers to reduce this disparity and improve their game. Unless a bowler is up there with the best in the world, I would argue that any bowler, regardless of their age, gender or anything else, they can improve their game by eight pins a game. None of us are perfect. There's basically always things you can do to improve significantly. And if you're being honest with yourself and you look at your game, I think all of us can instantly find a couple of things that would improve our averages significantly by, you know, eight, 10, maybe even more pins per game. But ultimately, I do feel like this is the main reason the bonus system is still in place and it's to keep the entry numbers as high as possible. I understand it. I'm just not sure I agree with the mentality. There does seem to be a lack of female events in Europe in general. The ETBF have recently announced a new junior tour with nine junior events planned for this opening season. And I think a female European tour should definitely be on the cards. Perhaps if that happens, then the bonus pin rule may be phased out. But until then, I can't see it going away. So in conclusion, I believe that the bonus pin rule really, really should be, if not scrapped, I think it, it should be updated because a lot of things have changed in the game and it's quite an old rule now. Um, and I think that it, to me, just sends out the wrong message. As I mentioned at the start, it has nothing to do really in my eyes with the fact of it gives an, a, a dis, um, an advantage, too much of an advantage. I just think that it's nothing to do with that. It's just the fact that it's sending out this message that, hey, you know what, female bowlers, yeah, they, they need pins to compete with guys, but that's not the case. And I think we've seen that in Europe. And I think as part of the progression of the sport, this is just one thing of many that needs to change. As always, I would really be very intrigued to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think about bonus pins for women? Do you agree that it's the right thing, eight pins per game? Or do you think that it should be scrapped? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you've yet to subscribe and you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could just click the subscribe button below. Thank you, bowling fans, and see you all next time.